In this quick tutorial, we'll discuss the Egyptian numeration system. In the Egyptian numeration system, numerals are formed by combining the symbols that represent various powers of 10, and they're shown on your screen. Now before we continue, remember the difference between a number and a numeral. A number tells us how many objects we are counting, whereas a numeral is a symbol that represents a number. Essentially, any symbol that you use to represent a number is referred to as a numeral. Now in the Egyptian numeration system, the value of the number is the sum of the values of the numerals. For example, the number 325 is represented like this. Notice we have three scrolls that represent the number 300, two of these heel bones that represents two tens, and five strokes that represent the ones. The order of the symbols is not important, so I could mix the symbols here as shown underneath and it would still represent the same number. With that being said, let's go through some examples. Let's convert three lotus flowers, four scrolls, two heel bones, and five strokes. This is easy. We have three of these, which represents 3,000, four of those, which represents 400, two heel bones, that's 20, and five strokes, that's five. Adding these numbers up, we have 3,425. Now what's interesting also about this question is the usage of the word Indo-Arabic notation. That's just a fancy way of describing the number system we use today, using symbols between zero and nine. Interestingly, it originated in India in the 6th or 7th century and was introduced to Europe through the writings of Middle Eastern scholars and mathematicians. In the next example, we are expected to convert 2,405,303. We'll be using this astonished person twice, so I'll do my best in drawing that. So we have two of these. We will have four 100,000 symbols, which is that fish. The 5,000 is represented using the lotus flower. We'll need five of those. We need three scrolls to represent 300. No heel bones and three strokes. In question number three, we are expected now to add two numbers that are in the Egyptian numeration system. Let's begin by combining the scrolls. We'll have five of those in total. We'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve heel bones. Now, since twelve exceeds ten by two, rather than writing out twelve heel bones, I'll write down one scroll. So I'll add another scroll and two heel bones. So this represents 120, where that individually represents 100 and these two represent tens. Adding up the strokes, we have five of those and that makes up five. So adding these all up, one, two, three, four, five, six, six scrolls, that's 600, plus representing just these two as 20, that's 620, plus five makes 625. Let's do one more question for good measure. This time they want us to subtract this number from that number. So I'll begin by organizing my numbers where I have these scrolls, three heel bones, and four strokes at the top. And this number, since it's being subtracted from this, at the bottom. So that's six heel bones and two strokes. Let's go ahead and subtract. We don't have any scrolls in this number, but if you look at the heel bones, we have three at the top and six at the bottom. Three minus six is negative three. We want to avoid negative numbers. So instead, I'll change this scroll into 10 heel bones. Let me show you. Now we have 10 
and 3, that's 13 altogether. 13 minus 6 makes 7 heel bones. So I have that remaining scroll, 7 heel bones, and 4 strokes minus 2 strokes makes 2 strokes. If we want to change this into Indo-Arabic notation, we have here 100, 7 of those, so 7 times 10 is 70, and 2 strokes, that's 172. And so there you have it. A quick example on the Egyptian numeration system.